गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ श्वेता विनायक उंबरवाड़ी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सी के ठाकुर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल तो इन लास्ट टू सेशंस वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बायस एज वेल एज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बायस ए वेयर वी स्टडीड द थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स लाइक डिफ्यूजन एस ए देन टर्बिडोमेट्रिक एस ए एंड मेटाबोलिक एस ए नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द एनजामेटिक एस ए विच इज द लास्ट मेथड ऑफ बायस ए इन एनजामेटिक एस ए enzymatic assays are highly specific and they will quantitatively detect the minute amount of fermentation product as well as differentiate the biologically active and inactive compounds so in our fermentation product the component is growth factor then as yes, it is definitely produced in very less quantity and to check the less quantity of this product we can apply enzymatic assay an enzyme preparation incubated with a sample of culture brought to cause some enzyme mediated changes in the fermentation product such as particularly decomposition with a uh, consequent formation of a measurable product so here the our product is converted into the different product with through the enzyme for example we can see here the glutamic assay production is assayed by adding washed cells of certain strains of escherichia coli this escherichia coli produces glutamic acid decarboxylase enzyme and this glutamic acid decarboxylase enzyme acts on the uh, glutamic acid so as a carried out at a ph of 5.0 which should be specific one mole of carbon dioxide liberated from each mole of glutamic acid the enzymatic acid tested carefully to determine whether the whether they are actually functioning under the specific conditions employed so in this assay in glutamic acid assay the enzyme glutamic acid decarboxylase functional at ph 5.0 and that's why we are applying the ph 5.0 so in this condition what happens this enzyme convert glutamic acid into the product and along with this the co2 is getting liberated and that co2 level we can check and detect the unknown concentration of our product that is glutamic acid so an unknown amount of the pure chemical product added as an uh, <clears throat> internal standard to one sample of a typical fermentation broth but not to another sample as yes, uh, if we are dealing with the unknown concentration of our product that is glutamic acid then as yes, definitely we should run a standard also where we will uh, use a standard glutamic acid and the same condition we apply there also the assay results should quantitatively reflect the amount of added chemical when the assay values for the two samples are compared so after comparison then only we can determine the concentration of that fermentation product if values are not same then so some several possibilities need to be checked the ph or temperature may not be optimum for the enzymatic reactions is yes, the ph temperature should be similar for the both standard as well as unknown if there is any changes then we, we need to cross check it then compound in the sample like metal or inhibitor may inhibit the enzymatic reaction as we know enzymes are very sensitive they will get denatured or will get uh, inactivated in presence of unwanted components like metals or any inhibitor so here we need to use a pure enzyme sample the enzymes many be unstable under assay conditions so only small quantity or no enzyme is produced so this is very much specific and sensitive method of biosay is yes, from this all four biosay we can prefer diffusion assay for the uh, method in laboratory level then turbidimetric assay is also quite feasible Uh, metabolic assay is also quite feasible enzymatic ass assay is very much sensitive so whenever there is a need to check the small quantity of our fermentation product then only we can apply this method no what are the limitations of biosay as we know here we are dealing with the microbes or we can dealing with the test organism which is a bacteria so it is more difficult to perform this biosay as compared to the chemical assay in chemical assay as we know there is a use of chemical reagents but here we are dealing with the test organism so it is becomes very much difficult then it provides greater errors it may be a manual error or our instrumental error or environmental errors it is less reproducible as any biosay you need to Uh, reproduce in triplicate triplicates then only you can decide or determine the concentration of your fermentation product so assay requires specific test organism and what are the properties of that test organism the test organism should be genetically stable it should not be unstable one sometimes it shows the uh, good 
results and then because of some instability it will show there is no growth like this so it should be genetically stable it should respond in a graded manner only to test compound and not to the other material that may be present in the solution for assay for example uh, some compounds which are solubilized in organic solvent so we need to check whether that test organism is responding towards the organic solvent or not so here we need to use a neutral solvent okay so the growth graded growth it, it is against only our compound not against the solvent then that organism should grow relatively quickly on the simple media as much as simple media we can use here that assay will become more easy so the test organism should be grow on our simple media and sh uh, should shows the growth graded manner of the growth then it should not be a pathogen we are dealing with the test organism so if the organism is pathogen we need to take care more so if uh, we are dealing with the non pathogenic flora then we can uh, deal it with the easiest manner so the cell should not clump for turbinometric assay or swarm across the agar for diffusion assay and sometime organism shows a different types of growth patterns like uh, it is in a suspended form in a pellicle form or it is in a deposited form so in such conditions we cannot use the turbinometric assay so there we can use the end point assay uh, if there is a use of uh, bacillus like organism which shows the pellicle form of growth then if uh, it should be it, it should if possible aerobic or facultative aerobic okay for aerobic organism the conditions will be more easy easy for anaerobic organism again we need to perform it in a different manner so mostly the test organism which is used in our bias it should be a aerobic or facultative aerobic then it should grow well at ph that does not affect the stability or toxicity of the material under assay yes the ph which is used for the as say it should not be toxic to our organism otherwise the organism will not grow yes yeah, so these are the different references which can be used to study the bias say these are again from the fermentation technology references so after fermentation any product which is formed in after the fermentation so from that fermentation broth we can check easily the fermentation product and its concentration by using one of the above assays so thank you very much